Seven, 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 seven. Think, feel, and believe. Seven, 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 seven. Think, feel, and believe. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are again. Hello, everybody. Good to see you again. Thanks for watching. Hey, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Well, because you know there's lots of good stuff here, and you can learn from it. Learn from it. Be able to apply it and hold in your life. Be able to apply it and hold in your life. Be able to apply it toward your life. And then things might be, well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are. And um, I'm. I can't exactly remember where we are from the last video, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because we're here right now, and that's the only thing that matters. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! So, back to just a little, 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 little story is that, um, 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 I started thinking I was having, having the, you know, the power, you know, the power to uh, think and feel and believe about things and think there was some power, then some power, 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 power there. But, um, you know, and then I just kind of went through life and went through life. And when you go through life, things will happen, happen and they happen in blind. You don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know what you're doing to yourself. Nope. You haven't thought, feeling, belief in your manifesting. Mm -hmm. And your own life and you don't even know it. This is primarily why a lot of it I was doing blindly. And here's something that I had to take responsibility for later on in life. And the reason why I bring it up right now, and there's there's a whole there's a there's a there's a whole dynamic going on with this in many different aspects. Um, but it's something that I had to come to terms with uh, later on kind of sort of in life almost really like several years later because um you know i went on a pretty in-depth spiritual journey uh with things because i wanted to know the truth you know i want to know for myself without any um influence from anybody else and you can learn about some of these things in well um church on sundays yeah and um uh so through that experience obviously and i i had some really you know, I had some super, I haven't got into it yet, except a little bit in some other videos, some very supernatural spiritual experiences that I have. That you, you can't explain this stuff away. I mean, you just can't. All that, you know, you know that's what to me really proved the whole thing about um, Church on Sundays is because uh, I, I went on a journey myself and I proved it and God showed me who he was. You know, that's the thing. And I think many people you need to go on that relationship thing because it's all about relationship. But, 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 but we can't get into the vet. This is just something else that, um, you know, relates to the extent where out of the goodness of heart, man, called for good to things. Out of the evilness of the heart, of an evilness of the evil, the evil heart, of the evil, 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 the evil things. And um, so, um, I guess, you know, just to give you the blatant truth about this particular one, um, uh, I got into, uh, well, let's see. Uh, I used to do deliveries for... Uh, uh, one of the re one of the major retail stores in Co in uh, Colorado, um, and if I told you, you'd recognize, but I don't. I'm not going to use any names. I, I mean, I thought well, no, 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 okay, no, 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 no. I'm not going. No, 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 no. And I used to do furniture deliveries for the store all over the Denver metro area. And this is a pretty broad subject too, but it was definitely one that was applied deep, deep, deeply in my life. And that was that there was from times. There was times uh, that I would go along because I wasn't feeling appreciated, you know, and that's a pretty deep one. And I think, you know, that's going to be discussed in some other videos, too, is this whole appreciation thing. Um, definitely one of the things in love, love, love. Uh, if you go look at those videos, love, 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 one, love, love, love. And I don't know where it's going to, but you know, love, 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 one, love, love, two, love, 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 love three, love, 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 love. Go look at those videos, too. Uh, selects. Dot me, love, 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 and uh, you'll find you'll find those, and we're gonna talk about appreciation in that one too. But anyway, we're right here, so we're gonna talk about it here, right here about appreciation. And um, so I was doing deliveries for these stores, and, and you know maybe in other aspects and dynamics in my life, you know I would feel these things too about you know not feeling appreciated, 
And when you don't feel appreciated, I'm telling you, you can go to some dark, 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 dark places um, when you're not feeling appreciated. Um, yeah, enough said about that. But, you know, that was pretty much the synergistically thing that was causing me to go, I could get into an accident. I could get into an accident. I envision, and you know what? Simply because I was feeling sorry for myself and not feeling appreciated because there was that dynamic that was going on in me, you know, that I could get into an accident. And then it was basically I could get into an accident and then I could get hurt really bad. And then people would, and then I would attract everybody's attention, you know, because I could get into an accident, you know. And um, so periodically, I'd say, I'd give it a year and a half. Um, I, I was speaking these things and I was, you know, and I'd do and I, I would feel like maybe I wasn't feeling appreciated and then I'd be like, you know, feeling down on myself and driving my truck and just thinking to myself and thinking to what a lot of, you know, when you're, um, uh, a, a lot of, uh, what you'll in those think, film believe videos, think, film, believe, so like think, film, believe, go listen to those two. Yes, yes, yes. That's where we are. And those think, film, believe these videos here. Blindly, blindly, I could get into an accident. And I was thinking full of, you know, there's the thought, which generates the feeling. And little did I know, because I was doing it blindly, that it was creating, uh, creating a, a, a blindly, blind, 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 blind. Who can't see when you're doing it blindly? You can't see, you can't see, you can't see. And um, I was doing it blindly. Uh, and um, until one day, you know, because I could say I could, uh, I could get into an accident till one day. Can you see that? Can you see it? Can you see it? I got into an accident. And um, let's see. Uh, you see that? Put it back. Smash. I was driving up. Um, I'll show you a couple more pictures there in just a minute. Okay, you hold tight. Yeah, I was just um, um, driving down I-25 in the left lane. And this is almost another story. I don't want to really get into this either because um, it's kind of actually a little spiritual thing there too. I'm going to do a set of videos that are going to just address my accident. Um, but I know I, so I was driving up I-25 in the left lane and my attention got, got distracted. And when I came back, my truck had drifted into the left shoulder. And when the truck did a truck drifted into the left shoulder and I turned around, there was a pickup truck sitting there stalled in front of me. And I braked and I swerved and wham, I hit that truck going about 55, 60 miles an hour. Um, broke both my legs, broke my nose, lost half my blood in the whole ordeal of that thing. You know, but the thing that, the poignant thing about it was that uh, for these, for these series of videos right here, for this series, was that you know, I had a policeman come, um, come up to the side of the door and ask me if I had had my, if I had read my, you know, if I had given my last will and testament. And, you know, and when he said that, and I don't know if you see, can you see that? Can you see that steering wheel? See that steering wheel, how it's almost to the roof of the inside of that vehicle. And I don't know if you can see the chair that I was sitting in right there. But, um, uh, yeah. Uh, so this truck, so this uh, policeman came up next to me and um, said, Have, did, did I get my last will and testament? And I thought, no. You know, because the thought that came to my mind that was that I never thought I was going to die. You know, and I spoke many times and I had to learn this, you know, yeah, watch the videos. I haven't done them yet, but the accident thing, because this is kind of like a deep thing. Um, Spread out a little bit broader than I'm doing right here. Um, but um, I always, what did I say? I used to say I could get into an accident. I didn't plan that, you know, I, I didn't plan it happening. I spoke it and then, well, the forces that be and uh, we won't go any further than that because I know there's some of you out there that are thinking in your mind, how could God let that happen? Well, you know what? God gave man free will. He did. And whatever happens on this earth is pretty much inconsequential because what's more important is on the other side. Life is school and it's like teaching your show. Okay. So, um, but you know, I could get into an accident and I didn't think I could, I didn't, but I never thought I could get into an accident and die. And the accident that I got involved in, people were saying, man, uh, the, the people used to say, um, well, there's much less than that. And I've seen people die before, you know, and it was a bit of a miracle. 
I mean, I, I slammed into that truck going 55 miles an hour. There was a suspended animation, and then boom, I hit it again. And somebody told me that the frame of that pickup truck was sitting in a V on the um, on the pavement because I'd hit it so hard that I that I pretty much bent that truck in half. But you know, the half of it is is that <laughs> you're gonna have to go to well the next one, which is. Hey.